Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. Recently Spotify flexed its new hate content policy by removing the music of R. Kelly and XXX Tentacine. In response to Spotify's newly launched hate content and hateful conduct public policy, to artists with a long history of sexual misconduct and domestic abuse from its playlists and algorithmic recommendations. Now women's advocacy group Ultraviolet is urging the streaming giant to do the same with other artists accused of sexual abuse. Ultraviolet is a national organization working on a range of issues including reproductive rights, healthcare, economic security, violence and racial justice, published an open letter Monday to Spotify applauding the recent decision. However, the group is also imploring that the policy be expanded to give the same treatment to the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Nelly, Eminem, Don Henley, Steven Tyler, 6 9 and Chris Brown, acts that have been accused of abusing or harassing women. The organization said every time a famous individual continues to be glorified despite allegations of abuse we wrongly perpetuate silence by showing survivors of sexual assault and domestic violence that there will be no consequences for abuse that has a cultural effect far beyond one individual artist. They added that Spotify's action demonstrates the company is following the lead of black women who demanded that these two men who have sexually and physically abused women for years not be promoted and celebrated. Ultraviolet hopes the open letter will inspire other music platforms to follow in Spotify's footsteps. Last week Spotify announced it was rolling out the new policy that would curb content that expressly and principally promotes, advocates, or incites hatred or violence against a group or individual based on characteristics, including, race, religion, gender identity, sex, ethnicity, nationality, sexual orientation, veteran status, or disability. The streaming giant said it partnered with rights advocacy groups, including the Southern Poverty Law Center, the Anti-Defamation League, Color of Change, Showing Up for Racial Justice, GLAD, Muslim Advocates and the International Network Against Cyber Hate, and built an internal content monitoring tool called Spotify Audio Watch that will identify content that has been flagged as hate content on specific international registers. Representatives for both artists called into question the implications of the policy, and critics questioned what the barometer for removal would be. Of the artists Ultraviolet listed some have been accused of sexual harassment or abuse or domestic violence but not everyone on the list has been charged with a crime. If Spotify were to continue with banning artists, and if others do follow, then there won't be much artists left on there anymore because over the last century there has been a lot of men, and even women, that has done sexual or some kind of abuse towards other women. Therefore almost every artist from then to now would have to be removed as well because no one is perfect and everyone at some time or another does some sort of misconduct towards another person of the opposite sex. Suicide has its on National Prevention Day, and society leads you to believe that drugs are harmful and to prevent suicide. So what about the artists that have died of drug overdoses, or died from committing suicide, or that have even abused alcohol? I understand it is not good to abuse women, or anyone for that matter, but neither is suicide or drugs and this is ridiculous to ban an artist because of his image instead of letting his work he created to be loved by fans. Not everyone is a bad person based on what they have done but being judgmental is negative because the only one that can and should judge us all is God himself. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.